That very austere withdrawal to dedicate one's life to God's service, to meditate on the Word of God and living out the Christian life. As a celebration today, also, we pray God for the grace of detachment in our own lives, too, that we too may be able to serve God well through Christ our Lord. Amen. To offer this holy Eucharist to all let us call to mind our sins. I'm very good for mercy and for goodness. I confess to Almighty God that I have been listening in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have done to do, through my thought, through my thought. Through my most grievous thoughts. Therefore, I ask the blessed Mary and the Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May the Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Christ have mercy. Christ Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Let us pray. O God, who brought the abbot Saint Anthony to serve you by wondrous way of life in the desert, grant through his intercession that denying ourselves we may always love you above all things. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you. In the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the letter to the Hebrews. Brethren, God is not so unjust as to overlook your work and the love which you showed for his sake in serving the saints as you still do. And we desire each one of you to show the same earnestness in realizing the full assurance of hope until the end, so that we may not be sluggish, but imitate us of those who through faith and patience inherit the promises. For when God made a promise to Abraham, since he had no one, Greater by whom to swear. He swore by himself, saying, Surely I will bless you and multiply you. And those, Abraham, having patiently endured, obtained the promise. Men indeed swear by a greater than themselves, 
and in all their disputes, an oath is final for confirmation. So when God desired to show more convincingly to the heirs of the promise, the unchangeable character of his purpose, he interposed with an oath, so that through two unchangeable things, in which it is impossible that God should prove false, we, who have fled for refuge, might have strong encouragement to seize the hope set before us. We have this as a sure and steadfast anchor of the soul, a hope that enters into the inner shrine behind the curtain, where Jesus has gone as a foreigner on our behalf, having become a high priest forever according to the order of the kingdom. The word of the Lord. The Lord keeps his covenant ever in man. The Lord keeps his covenant ever in mind. I will praise the Lord with all my heart in the meeting of the just at the assembly. Great are the works of the Lord to be pondered by all who delight in them. He has given us a memorial for his wonders. The Lord is gracious and merciful. He gives food to those who fear him, keeps his covenant ever in mind. He has sent redemption to his people and established his covenant forever, holding his name to be feared. His praise endures forever. Hallelujah. And he said to them, Have you never heard what David did when he was in need and was hungry? He and those who were with him, how he entered the house of God when Abiathar was high priest and ate the children, which it is not lawful for any but the priests to eat, and also gave it to those who were with him. And he said to them, The Sabbath was made for man, not man for the Sabbath. So the Son of Man is loved even of the Sabbath. The Gospel of the Lord. Glory to Jesus. 
The church has come to know him as a father of monastic life. That very withdrawal from worldly affair to serve God in solitude, to serve God in a very dedicated way, meditating on his word and applying them day by day. He felt challenged, yes, called first, and then challenged by our last invitation to the young man, young rich man, that came to him asking him, what must I do to gain eternal life? And our Lord told him, go, sell all that you have and give the money to the poor, and then come and follow me. He took that instruction literally, go sell all that you have and then come back and follow me. And then, after he has disposed of all that he had, he went into the desert to reflect on the word of God and then also to serve God. It was in this solitude that people came to know of his way of life, of his wisdom and of his um, reflection on the word of God and felt drawn to him to be taught by him, that's to be taught by St. Anthony. From there, he gained followership. Now, one of the biggest challenges that we have as Christians is believing the word of God to actually be real, to actually be, be what it is to be real, to be true even today. You know, when you pick any textbook and you read it, you presume that the author is telling you what is real. When you pick a newspaper today, you presume that the, the people reporting, that they are reporting factual, what is real, what has happened. And then somehow when we pick up the Bible and read, you know, sometimes the temptation is to interpret our lost words to mean, oh, this part, he makes it to be exactly what he has said. This other part, maybe he's speaking in figures, maybe he's speaking in some figurative way and doesn't mean it in that very way that the Bible is portraying it. So we tend to give the part that benefits or the part that suits us ahead, the literal interpretation. The part that is challenging, we tend to take that part to be, you know, maybe God is speaking in tongues here, he makes it differently. But like the president tells us that God will not be so unjust to overlook our good works. And so truly, God is who is challenging us with those very words means that we should take them exactly for what they are, the word of God. If God says it is like this, he knows and he means it to be exactly like this. If he says it's like no two ways about it. And so let us stop trying to interpret the part that sounds good in a literal way. And the part that sounds challenging, then we begin to give it, you know, this kind of, you know, you know, is this other way, is this other way. God understands. God understands and is asking us, do exactly what I've asked you to do. Now, back to that first reading on the letter to the Hebrews. Where the author tells us, God is not so unjust to overlook your good deeds, to overlook your works. You know, if we take it that yes, every bad deed will be punished by God, then of course, too, God will also be picked to reward every good deed. Which means, for every good act to have done, or for every good we have intended and we have carried out, there's a reward waiting for us on account of them. Now the challenge is for us to do it all the way. Not this kind of, I'm doing it but I'm not too sure whether there will be a reward. I'm not too sure but just in case, let me just do, let me just go halfway. Let's ask us, go all the way with God. There is no reservation when it comes to God. It is that full-hearted devotion and attention that we give to God and to the things of God that wins for us his favor and his blessings. For St. Anthony, it won for him wisdom here on earth and of course the eternal reward in heaven.
Today also God is challenging us to also be his Christians, his children, in words and in deeds. Stop interpreting for yourself the path that makes sense to you. But our peace very personal to them, the path that is challenging. Tell yourself, no, this path is not for all of the word of God is for us. And every part of it is meant to actually challenge and inspire us into being better children of peace. May God help us today and always to improve our lives for the better through Christ our Lord. Saint Anthony. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, 
which you report us for you upon men, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your name to the Lord. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you God the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have helped us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that by taking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, the church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope, Ignatius and Anselm our bishops, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us, our we pray. That with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, who Blessed Joseph has promised, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have blessed you throughout the ages, who may marry to the co-heir to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours for ever and ever. At the Savior's command, and formed by the divine teaching, we dare to say. Us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all wickedness, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, to say to your apostles, peace and liberty, my peace and liberty. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and forever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other a sign of peace. Dear friends, behold the Lamb of God. Behold our Savior Jesus Christ, who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb.
nourished for our healing by your sacrament, O Lord. May we escape every snare of the enemy from hand, just as by your grace, St. Anthony won glorious victories over the powers of darkness through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. May the Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Go forth, the Mass is ended. TV 